Hello everybody, welcome to the final quarter-final of CCL Season 52. We've got Timbux and his Nurgle, yep that's correct, and Wor versus World Tatar and his Orcs. In the booth with me is Daedalquist, hello! Hello! Thank you for uh, letting me hop on for this one. Should cool. be an exciting one. Coaching wise, it's uh, one of the best players in the world and uh, World Sitar against uh, a pretty solid player in uh, in Corbex, uh or Timbrix. Um, yes. yes, for the people on YouTube, uh, Timbrix is Corpax in Twitch chats. And yep. uh, yeah, World Tatar has got a bribe here and 12 players and a pretty flipping nice old team. Really cool yeah. old team. Uh, probably not as good as Duckies and maybe not as good as Tasteless's, but probably better than Yaks. Um, Timbux has got 13, Nurgle, and does have a Claw Palmer, but doesn't have a lot besides the Claw Palmer, really. It no, really it's. Well it's yeah, but very well, and and like that's the saving grace for World Sitar, right? Because matchup wise, this this is a nightmare. Uh, but uh, since there are only two claw, one of them even without mighty, and just the one claw palmer, um, this could uh, be even still. But if if the claw palmer kicks off instantly, um, it won't. Uh, we see if KO, the first hit, uh, doesn't want to follow. Um, because it's his only one, he can't expose it. Uh, you hover over there, uh, or they're um, showing that World Sitar does have a bribe, and the DP is right there. Um, yes. <laughs> and he's got one, right? If he had four claw pommers, then fuck yeah. it, right? <laughs> just fire yeah, it you, you definitely follow if you have more than one. Uh, but with. with like Corp corpse knows that this is his win con. Oh, <laughs> mm. as I'm talking about that, yeah, we see nice. counter attrition. Yeah. The rotter decaying into death uh, from just an MNG. Um, yeah, interesting. Obviously, could have just put these two in and blocked, but I guess we have to cover these behind. And oh yeah, got it because of that. Get served with the jugs. Obviously, that failed pick up if you haven't. If you haven't uh, but I mean, he was still in a bit of a shit spot. Yeah, and and like the. Uh, wow. It's a, it's a bit of a rowdy serve, um, considering, like, yeah, you had Ooh. the GFI after, and it was a, a 1D, um, one of the. One that uh, Is there Juggernaut? There's no Juggernaut. Oh man. If yeah, there's a no, Juggernaut, but yeah, they're both they're protecting them, aren't they? If there was a Juggernaut you could uh you could come in here, right, and then surf him would be amazing, but uh mm. there is no juggernaut for Corpax. I guess we know where the MVP will land here. Dead rotter. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's basically guaranteed, isn't it? Oh, there's a niggled uh, guard line all. Doesn't get him though, um, but nice series of pals here uh, to give him some form of respite, uh, and then goes for the stand for in peace. Um, risky target um, to blitz with your claw power. Uh, not sure. I'm a big fan. Like you know, it is it is the threat uh, to the ball. In this in this case, so like that makes it a bit more excusable, but still like. Yeah. And he's got the jump up right, so he wants he doesn't want him to just be standing there with a guard for this jump up and stuff. But yeah, this is all from moving the ball up here. Like this is just two instant two mm. Ds and stuff. This yeah, is, uh, this is pretty hideous. I would say it from core packs, but never mind. <laughs> Who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> it is it is risky. Uh, let's let's just call it that. <laughs> yeah, but you can argue that like he's got to be risky I guess right because uh, yeah to some extent definitely but this is like I don't know um not what I would have done I would have preferred getting to the other side of the field like getting getting away from these key players for for the orcs like the orcs aren't faster than you so they can't catch up if you if you walk the other way um then you've got the head start, take advantage of the blizzard. 
Yeah, yeah, I think I would just, I don't know, but you can understand it, right? Because obviously it is, yeah. it is a tough match. It is, yeah, and it, you can't risk like a fifth pickup again and not having dealt with them, so like, yeah, like there's that. Uh... <laughs> Oh god, diced. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Rough, rough, rough. It's all gone tits up. Yep. Yeah. Well, if you're Corp, if you're Corp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gone pretty great exactly for, uh, well to for be if you're worse than Tark. He also even gets to chain this guy away and foul with a dirty player. Oh no, the dirty oh, player stood up. I was gonna say what he can even foul the DP, but did no? Oh, yeah, did he just foul that movement guy? He could have just done an extra square. I wouldn't have hated it honestly with a prime. Like it's a bit risky, maybe yeah. a bit too risky. Things has gone so well for you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't want to squander it on a one in eighteen right now, uh, giving up like the the virtually guaranteed counter score on the opponent's drive. Yeah. Like, what does Corp do to stop this? Like, in the blizzard, like, he can't. Not like, I did. And this is. This is. I mean, I hate to pile on to a point we already made. No, wait, I love doing that. <laughs> 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 but this is exactly why he couldn't go into that. Um, let, let's that stand firm and, like, put himself. Put the, put the ball right there. Like, it's, it's just. Like, this is the maximum punishment for a tiny mistake. Yeah, well, I don't know about tiny, it was... <laughs> it's like, there were pros and cons. And I can understand thinking that you've got to get super lucky to win. But, you know, he put himself in a position where he had to get super lucky to win. And maybe he didn't actually have to get super lucky to win before he put himself in that spot. But once he'd made the decisions he made, he then had to get lucky. but you know maybe he had to anyway right because the teams are pretty uh pretty far but you know i think the club yeah. will start and just get lucky by itself right out yeah I, 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 yeah i try to play good good blood ball yeah. and hope that the uh, club will come swing it. exactly lean on the ball bomber for uh, for at least the first half and then then adjust after that um or like, you know, do something that's really risky with a really high reward. That would just seem like really risky yeah. without a high reward, which is not what you want at all, is it? You don't want high risk <laughs> nope. without a high reward, basically. Exactly. Demi made them himself in paint park. That was an entire day's work effort. <laughs> I, I assume his job. Uh, don't know what he spent his day doing. <laughs> ah, that's rough, but uh, at least he stays on the pitch. Mm. Bummer. Not a healing pile. No. <laughs> Turns into a castle. Is he tilted right now? Like, that? I don't know. Now he really has to get lucky to win, right? And it's an 11 man, well, it's a 12 man team, but, you know, like, one's KO'd, so. Yeah, you, have to score, you still have to score this drive, right? Like, yeah. putting your claw bomber on the ground and risking the KO to not even be a KO anymore. Like, feels. It's not what I'd have done, but who can say if it's good or not? <laughs> 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 He's still got three turns after this. It's it's not terrible yet. Yeah, obviously, it's going to be tough to score. So you know, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I, don't know. I can understand. I can understand it because like, you know, this this game's pretty 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 difficult. Mm -hmm. 
and Roth not getting the pickup. Like those squares are really important right now as well. Like the the three squares that he had left of movement up the pitch. Um, as, as you said, like um, this is now turning into a handoff situation uh, or a pass situation. Um, oh, he's got jugs, hasn't he? So he can blitz the Rossler there. It's a nice team. It's a super good old team. It's been a bunch of super good old teams this season. Yeah, yeah, they are. Now it's looking like three of them are going to be in the semi finals. It's kind of crazy. Oh, wow. There's a especially, especially as you see the. Oh. Oh, oh well. Well. <laughs> well. That's. Oh, well. That's. As close to GG as it gets. Yeah. Oh, I would have fouled it. Yeah, I would have fouled it. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. He's got a. He's got a five, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't dislike the foul at all. Uh... Don't say it's over. Like, like you, you. The 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 thing is with that foul as well. Like you, you're. You're putting the pressure on the Nurgle at the same time, so like that you're, you're hindering their advance down the pitch, uh, yeah. hindering the movement of the of their line. Um, so it's not like it's even a positionally it's good. Yeah, it's yeah, low it's not risk. High risk at all. It's basically no risk, right? You're, like you're risking yeah. your bribe, but you're not risking position, and it's basically free roll. It's basically a free roll to win the game because yeah, if you if you if you fail, you just use your bribe anyway. Yeah, yeah they've got a bribe. Yeah, yeah. auto foul. <laughs> yeah, I would say I would say auto foul. Yeah. And not just because it worked. <laughs> <laughs> no, but because like it, it was like it, it, it really fit in with what he wanted to do defensively that turn as well. Um, I mean, don't say it's over, but <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah, no, it's. Uh... <clears throat> like not only is it is it his only claw bomber, but like he's <laughs> in terms of like getting back into the game, like he needs the the mobility of the of the pestis as well, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a good argument to not pile on because you know it's movement six, match three, and that's what I. That, that was my first point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, it's, I don't, I don't it want just, that on the ground. Like, you know, if it was a Chaos team, then you've got, like, you know, the Warriors and a bunch of Beastmen, so then, like, it's yeah. more acceptable to pile on, but on a Nurgle team, yeah, you really do need Yeah, because, like, it, it's it's the short drive, right? It's, uh, like, the Rotters <laughs> in a Blizzard, they're not going to score for you. Um, they're gonna be there to like shore up like uh, gaps um, between your scoring threats, like so that you can move, move the ball somewhere. Yeah, uh -huh. that was turn seven, yeah. by the way, and yep, stopped stopped one square out of range. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Oof. Just got to hope at that point that World Sitar blitzes the carrier so you can sidestep into range, but he didn't. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> Diced again. Apparently, World Sitar is a good player. <laughs> <laughs> and then dodge there to stop any kind of ludicrous chain push attempt. Of yeah. Really yeah, that was pretty bad. Call. And might have even might have even got the touchdown right with the uh, GFIs there. Might have been possible. But, uh, yeah, because like all, all he needs is is for him not to roll the fifty five percent power. Right? Yeah, he's got a re roll though. But and then if he doesn't do it, um, like he might not have even got the assist. So it's a one d with a re roll, or it's a two d and maybe not a re roll. And then obviously he would have had the side step forward as well. So yeah, it would have been uh, it would have been pretty good odds. But yeah. 
Uh, like the, there's an argument for uh, like if if Corpex remembers to stay step in range there, there's an argument to just put the Jugska uh, the tackle stand firm on him in front of him, um, and not even blitz him with that target. Yeah, uh, with that player. Um, He's got two heads, though, isn't it? It'll be just a three-two, three-two, three-two. Oh three, yeah, two. yeah, my bad, yeah. All right, then he probably puts them in. Yeah, yeah, that's a shame. It's a shame. That because, yeah. and I don't know why. I think maybe should have fouled there, right? Um, because there's no, there's no like extra kill. Well, yeah, so, fouling a region player um, does feel bad though. Um, like, because you, you want to keep the bribe. I, I can see the argument for wanting to keep the bribe for the next bribe so that you can keep the player on the pitch and you don't want your dirty player sent off. Um, it's, uh... Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've just, I'm, I'm just like, I wasn't shocked that he didn't foul. I just, he just, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? like I would, yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, I would, I would imagine, I could imagine that somebody like Ducky may have fouled in that situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm very restricted in my fouling, so like, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. Um, it depends on the game state and my, my, <laughs> my mental state. <laughs> 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 Some might argue that I'm not the most consistent player. <laughs> well, you need to work on your confidence, Dadel, and then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the one area where I'm lacking. <laughs> where everyone's lacking. That's all you need, really. Uh, wow. It's what I. It's what I heard said three hours straight yesterday. <laughs> For three hours in a row. Oh man, so good. So good. Well, the, the, the best he really part was have... about two hours in when Dubi said that he wasn't drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, dude, you've made the one argument for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can hand off to the Black Oak. Okay, I'd be thinking about handing off this Black Oak, honestly, and, and leveling him to, like, guard. This is how confident I'd feel right now, even though... The Nurgle aren't any down players, right? They've still got 11. I'd still be thinking yeah. over the course of the drive, I want to get yeah. to him eventually and score. Yeah, that's a uh, very, very fair point. Puts it on the actual ball carrier, though, uh, for now. Um, yeah. Which also makes sense. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I'd put, it, I'd put it on him now, yeah. But I, I would be trying to... I'd be it's trying not to get right this guy up and, uh, and through. It's not live, no, Randy, no, no, no live games. It might do the semis live. I mean, could have done the quarters live. But, uh, replays are just so much better, aren't they? <laughs> it's dead. So much faster. You're not, not having to, you don't want to watch somebody think for four minutes, do you? No, like certain games, it's definitely okay. And like, depending on like the size of the, uh, the booth. Uh, um, and also like, the mental state that you and I are in, like, <laughs> if it were, if we're uh, not quite there that day, it's, it, it turns into turns into very much a grind for us to get through <laughs> yeah. the game. I think, I think, like, in terms of the um, the like YouTube, I think replays are just always better. Yeah, I think in terms of like Twitch, like do you know what I mean? There is something to be said for like live sporting events, isn't there? And I know it's yeah, not a sporting event, but you know it kind of is, right? It's a, it is. It's and, a game. And like it allows, event. It, it allows like the side talk to to really like flourish, and then you, you can still comment on the game uh, to to a large extent. Whereas like quite often when when we diverge into other commentary during these ca uh, replay casts, like. We miss commenting on like a portion and fairly yes, large portion yeah, of the yeah. game. Yeah, it's very noticeable. Uh, yeah, like the other day, wasn't it? It was noticeable that like half of the game just didn't get commented on because yeah, there was just talk. So. 
<laughs> Good point, Satter. <laughs> it's definitely a sport. <laughs> Wait, I'm not playing Blood Bowl anymore. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty decent from uh from Corbex here, even though he's staying in the head, but he's he's gotta try and get a turnover right, this is the hard thing. Right? Yeah. It's not good enough to even keep out well the time he's got to he's gotta get the turnover, so he's gotta he's gotta try some kind of crazy moves at some point. Yeah, but stabilizing his defense is is the number one um, part of that, right? Um, so, so like, that's good. Um, and then from here, like, give, giving some trap space and, like, trying to create something from that. Um, luckily for him, the weather changed uh, to, to, uh, to fair weather. Uh, so, like, he can actually make some GFIs to, to create those plays, which he will need to. Um, it's interesting what I would have done here. I would have put in two players, blitz from here, and then like chain this guy so you know you'd make some more breathing space for yourself. That's fair. Um, but it's just, gonna, it's just gonna go here. I guess so. This kind of does the same, similar kind of thing, but then he's got this guy here, as not he? could have had that guy here. I wonder if you could chain. Yeah, you can chain him to there. But then there's stand firms. Oh, there's loads, so much stand firm, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, this ch chaining doesn't really do a whole lot for the, uh, for the nerds. It's really what you want to see in an orc team, a lot of stand firm. Mm. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, it is. Hello, Enzo. Hey, Enzo. And I guess World Sitar is pushing forward now because, like, you know, if he goes to north, he's won for sure. So, yeah. while this isn't normally what you do as orcs, it's situationally doing something, isn't it? But and, this is a and it's, turn. He's shut it down it, pretty well here, Corpac. It's also utilizing the fact that he's just a tiny bit faster, right? Um, and uh, he can always swing back. Um, it's unnecessary, Corpus, but you have to defend it, right? So, like, because you've defended it, now it can just go back. But it, it was worth a little probe, just to see, because yeah. he, if he scores, it's over, right? So so he goes up here, see if you defend it well. If you don't defend it well, then he pushes forward and goes to another point one. If you, do, if you do defend it well, then he goes back to the middle and he's quite happy at you know, winning one nil. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, the, what you've been forced to do is like put your reactive pieces the ones that can like actually like create something um far back for you um so like you're not turning the ball over next turn yeah yeah exactly yeah you've got it you've got to like because you've got to turn them over right so yeah exactly a great point by Dado. um yeah these responsive players are now unresponsive <laughs> I mean, yeah, he left some gaps here, but it, because like he got slightly unlucky. Um, yeah, well, just block this guy. This guy was could have come through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. He could have hit the ball this guy instead. Can't the rotter hit the ball still? Yeah, no the the rest of him? Yeah. I'd much rather be uh, hitting. Uh, can the other rudder get it there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can. Uh, double dodge. Long, one G five. One. Well, no, double G five. One dodge. Is it? No, double dodge. Double G five. Ah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, even if he gets the ball, he just picks it up next turn anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 really. But yeah, I mean, you had to go for it, Corpax. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the the fact that he didn't get any of the that he pulled appearance twice on on one of your warriors and then failed to dodge out even with the reroll. Like those things uh, allowed that ball sack attempt, and and that was huge for you. But like, as we said, like that's that was with a rotter. Um, 
And even if you got them down, like, you're unlikely to break his armor even if you roll the 5+. plus. So, like, what happens next turn? Like, you don't have any other support for that player. Like, you have to be super lucky. Not only just to... Yeah, I mean, you, you know my point, right? Even if his armor busted, like, he's an AV8 piece, you're not automatically breaking that without might have like... Yeah, there wasn't a lot. And then automatically no scoring. Through, right? There was one guy coming through, and there's still, yeah. like, a team of orcs between the team of orcs. So it wasn't terrible. I mean, yeah, you did good. And, yeah, good. like, you took the shot that you had to take, and, like, yeah, you probably should have, like, done more to secure that that shot wasn't there in the first place. But... <clears throat> The fact remains that most of your team, like the responsive pieces that have agency in, in creating something, were pushed back by his probe. Like yeah, that I, part I, I was a good fine. play. Yeah, I, th I think it's fine probing, right? Like, but again, like, you, you're doing it because he goes to know if he wins, so he just goes there, so yeah. he see if he can win. Right? Like, it's fine. I would, I would have been fine with him not doing it as well. You know, I would have been fine with him just just uh staying in the middle of the field and punching and that as well it's just i think but you know a lot of people like to just get it done right like like the, the perfect example is pc versus devo in the final where pc you know pushed everything forward and just try and score as soon as possible to get it over with and he would have never done that if it was a normal drive right if it was a normal mm -hmm. turn drive he'd have never played like that ever and mm -hmm. he only did it because because it was Golden goal and and then ended up not being a great, not being a great drive for PC. Was I think if he had kept his cool and just tried to play it like a normal drive, maybe he would have uh, maybe he would have got it done. And so yeah, maybe there was an element of that from World Tower, you know, thinking well, I'll push but here and if I if I get the chance, oh. I really think that World Tower like did the right play here because like you like one of the things that you want to do oh. Uh, one of the things what you want to do if you're the faster team is like force the others, the, the other team to like respond to your to your moves um, and utilize that speed. Yeah, I quite and, liked it. I quite liked it. So, I quite liked it because there's just a chance of straight up. If you go yeah. to look, you will. That's pretty old. And if you push the surf. Nurgle back, going to the surf. Can you believe it? Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. Uh, Yeah, yeah, for sure. Or yeah, I'm well, looking the first half right with the dodge. Yeah, and the uh, failed ball pickups and whatever. But yeah. it is a dice game. Despite what Dio would have you believe. <laughs> 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 I like that. Get the get the scoring threat in this time, not like not like the first half. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's an important part of Blood Bowl as well, learning from your mistakes. So good good showing that in uh, in the same game. It's uh, it's very impressive. Oh, Oh, I think maybe, maybe the six plus five plus was the way. <laughs> Probably, oh, your your soul. Because this just doesn't like this just doesn't do enough, right? Yeah. And and this turn he was also on the sideline. Um, so like if you if you hit the five plus, like you can get the lucky scatter out of bounds as well. So like. It was a lot to win from that fight. Well, it was good defense, really. Uh, I would be gutted here if I was World to that I didn't get the score on on the rookie. Well, not the rookie, but the block, the block <laughs> point. Yeah. Yeah. I would have felt a bit sad. And to be fair, I think if I was World to Tower, I wouldn't have done that probe because I would have wanted to set up the touchdown on the Black Hawk. So because I would have been greedier than World to Tower, it, it would have meant me not going for that play. That's why I wouldn't have done what World to Tower would have done. Because I would yeah, have been to get the touchdown on that Black Hawk. But, um, as it is, of course, it's a team. Uh, 
and that was, uh, it was a pretty good game, I thought well played by both sides overall, apart from obviously a few a few fuck-ups from Timbuks, but you know, what can you do, not the end of the world. Yeah. And arguably a fuck-up from Wilted, all right, leaving, leaving the ball sack on, you know, mm -hmm. they just could have GFI'd with the ball and stuff, there you go. Shit and wrong, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it could have, it, like he was, he was kind of betting on not rolling uh, the one uh, in nine dodge. Yeah, if he makes that, if, even even before that, like he fallacy. rolled two foul appearances. Mm. Like, and what if the first one doesn't foul appearance? Then he frees up another orc to come back and um, and do that. So it's like there were a lot of bad dice that put him in that spot. But like, you shouldn't rely on that still, like because those dice exist, right? It's a one in six to to then force the dodge uh, in the first place. And yeah, he was in a pretty dominant position, I feel like. Yeah, he have, Give it, uh, given that up, it's not worth it. Yeah, I just feel like he should have been in a better spot than what he was. But, you know, it's, it's easy to think that, but then not that easy to think how they should have got there. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the thing, isn't it? So, yeah, you know, oftentimes you'll think, well, this shouldn't have been that difficult, but then... You know, well, what else can you do? You know, so like it's uh, sometimes it's kind of easy to be critical without uh, having the answers, but never mind. Yeah, no. um, that was it. Um, congratulations, World Sitar, commiserations, Timbux slash Corpax. Um, thank you very much, Daedalus. It's been glorious having you in the booth. Glorious as usual. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>